So we got the Newmans in here in New York. They pulled up on me. I'm Nelson Newman, and I'm the curly head hooper that's been going viral. I'm the only one that drops multiple 50 bombs. Yeah! Welcome to the Newman crew, baby. Yo, yo, like, what's the hype around the Newman? It started with RWE. Yeah, that's what I would guess. They, they went on that platform with him and Cam Wilder, and they did something that never been done. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm hungry. Then I gotta show my favorite spot, where I get my food from on a daily basis, you feel me? Uh, the oldest one of my friends. I'm like one of our best friends. It's his spot, it's fire, I eat it every day. If you was picking, would you get the chopped cheese or the chicken and pancakes? I would, I would say chicken and pancakes. For me, the best food truck in New York City. You got whatever you need from chicken and wild food, breakfast stuff, to for me, dinner. So it's good food. I, I go there almost every day. I'm gonna get a chopped cheese and chicken and pancakes. What's your, what you put in your pancake? Oh, uh, fruity pebbles. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I get fruity pebbles every time. Like fruit, other fruity pebbles. They put cereal in the wild. Ooh, that shit crazy. I'm the owner of Ground Kid Eats food truck. We sell African food, soul food, and brunch. You gonna see me? Help out in here, man. We can see these chicken and waffles is about. It's more like a family business. It's like it's a not, family business, bro. Todd's my guy. We've been locked in for a while since I've since I've been young, when I was sixth, seventh grade. We've been locked in. I was super proud of him, you know. And he decided to put his mind to something to start his business, and you know, it's on a good track. And it just inspires me to just keep on waking up every day and then pushing towards my goal. Before Ian, before like it was nice social media, I was Ian. It was me, like I was the <laughs> best in basketball. Like, like this is that literally, was a nice like, one, guys. This was, was like a this nice is one, a real statement. <laughs> <laughs> like till today, I still beat Ian one on one, but he's not gonna tell y'all. It's it's a it's a videographer that has the film. He said he cooked you before. Oh, oh bro, you gotta let them know that, bro. Yeah, never tell the world that I beat him. What happened? What happened? Is that true? He said he got it on, on film. Nah, he got he got he got he beat me one on one. But I wasn't guarding though. I was letting him shoot threes. But he he did get over on me though. So my specialty is kind of like the the cereal in the mix of the the pancakes. So you can get either cinnamon toast crunch, fruity pebbles, tricks, or Oreo. It's kind of easy, but nah, I can't I can't tell y'all all my secrets. Oh. You try chicken first? Try whatever you want. Mm. Mm. Damn. Think about the waffles. Damn, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie, this is a 10. <laughs> I ain't even gassing it because the camera on. This is actually a 10. A 10 I ain't gonna lie. I'm about to bust the <laughs> down. <laughs> Oh, sh oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's sturdy. It's, it's good? It's good. I can get one more? Look at that waffle. It was definitely worth the wait. Hey, good looks, bro. Well, they definitely was selling the food. You know, you know, Ground Kid eats my spot, never fails. Give me a rating. What y'all think about it? What y'all think about it? I can lie. This, like a 9.5. Word. I'm giving it a 10, bro. Bro, my, right bro I already ate mine. Like, this ain't gone. That's like, that's 11 out of 10. Whenever my friends come to town, you know, always look out for them. We stop here, got some good eats today. Hey, for me, we out. Yep. Fire. Fire. You're gonna be the toughest one in the room or the toughest team in the room. Willing to do what the next man is not. And that's play through contact, play through unfairness, play through disrespect, play through heckling. We get eight minutes. Full team on your full court, man. Good job, part of our culture at uh, Jelly Fam. So when we do the practices, it's not really new.
how you how you feel about like when prices get chippy like that, like how he was. I like it. in practice and you got a whole bunch of good players there's always some level of competition that's going to be shown so that day we just happened to want it want it bad we're the smaller team so let's be really aggressive hey. So, so you and Chapo is for me going hard in practice. Tell me about tell me about that. I feel like when you got two high level players, I feel like there's gonna be a little chitter chatter going on. Things got chippy. And we were just going out there and competing. It wasn't nothing personal, but it's definitely gonna happen. Playing for Jelly Fam definitely is helping me get ready for the next level. And I feel like this is the best preparation you can ask for, to be honest playing high-level basketball against the best players in the country and playing with the best players in the country. What amazing passes, man. My God. Hey! It's a good shot by Quan. Yeah, so for you, how was the transition from being in Erie to, you know, being in the Bronx? New York is like a second home to me since I've been traveling here a lot since the summer. In Erie, it's a lot of like commotion going on, a lot of like dumb stuff going on in the city. So I feel like it's definitely way, way, way better out here. And I can just stay level-headed and chase my, chase my dream. The difference between my old team and Jelly Fam, I feel like Jelly Fam, we're more like a family. Everybody just click and we all just on the same page. So the season just going so smooth. I might get a top cheese, just straight cheese and mayo and ketchup. That's it, nothing else. How often do you actually go to deli and eat deli food? Every day, <laughs> every day, I ain't even gonna lie. When I first got here to New York, oh my gosh, I didn't know nothing about a chopped cheese. I'm asking everybody, what is a chopped cheese? I tasted it, I'm like, oh my gosh, it was fire. And then I just got it for like, I've been getting it ever since. We get chopped cheese on a roll. It's ketchup and mayonnaise, I know. It's definitely tough just seeing your mom and all my sisters through a FaceTime camera. I definitely miss them a lot. My mom, she always try to make the games and bring my uh, family members when she can. She definitely shows a lot of support and the rest of my family as well. We get caught up in they bull and we're losing our discipline. Play basketball. Play basketball. So I need everybody to understand, we all, we all slip, we all make mistakes. We want to maintain the intensity, but we want to make sure we keep it basketball. Because at the end of the day, we got to chandle all of this up. Everybody got it. I definitely enjoy those practices before going into our games. It really bring the dogs out of us. You can't, you can't, you can't score by itself. You're up too much. Let's go. Come on, cut that out. Stop, stop, stop. You better pound everybody in. Everybody better slap everybody in. Everyone. Today was by far the best practice. And I'm gonna tell you why. Competing and fighting is not the same thing. I, mean, I, I, would, I would consider us a physical team. When we, when we really locked in, we really ready to play, and we were really playing together, that's when you know we, we take it up a notch in, in terms of physicality. Even boxers, even after there's a brutal beat and you see them hugging at the end, because nobody cares. We are in a results, base business. All that matters is the win.
Bro, why do you spit on me? Oh, no, nah, I swear Jay was really hip. <laughs> We're going to chapel. We do it once a week, every Wednesday. We got a chapel. Everybody from the whole school got to come. And for me, do it, I guess. <laughs> they're going to call you out. They're going to say, hey, you got to be better. And they're going to have an expectation. We're here in uh, the area where we worship. We call it our sanctuary or our chapel. It's a real blessing to, to be here and be a part of it all. And not only that, um, it's an opportunity for us to gather as a school community. That's my, that's my guy. He always does good energy in the room. There's always somebody that we look to to, you know, say something positive. He really brings good vibes to the team, so I feel like Pastor G is a great guy to be around. Do you know the two most important ways to show love? Our sacrifice and discipline. Make the necessary sacrifice, the right pass, the good play, the sitting down, the hands up, the talking. And then be disciplined enough to follow through. And that's how you really love each other. You want to show love? Sacrifice and discipline. Do that today, we good. To be on the coaching staff at Jelly Fam has been a really, really great blessing as well. And I've been coaching for about three years. I don't know, I'll call myself a special assistant. I think Pete just keeps me around because I'm head of school and so he shows me enough love to do it. But I've been really passionate as I've grown in, in coaching. So we're going to stand up. We're going to stand up. If your neighbor's resting, awaken them with the spirit, okay? Shamik because he's been at our school since last year and been with us this year. I've seen how joyful he can get when we sing, and but to watch him grow where now I've seen him really like belt it out and have a good time with it. Um, it's it's fun. When I look at our team this year, I think the sky's the limit. Every time we get together, we see championship or bust. And so that idea is you're gonna go to every limit, to every length, to every end, to be successful and to be great and to be victorious. And so we bring that mentality into what we do. So to me, championship or bust, that's the only way we can be. And we're from New York, that's a New York mentality. Right now we have the Elmcourt Gym in Queens. We gotta show out in New York. We gotta take care of home court, period. Ooh, what's your thoughts going into your first match against the court? I'm ready, I'm excited. I feel like that is there. I feel like we're ready to play. We expect them to come out, make good plays, hit some shots. This is real big, so we really need to get this W to, to really go up in the rankings. I feel like we're just gonna go out there and play our game, uh, no matter what. The power ring can save. We just, we know who we are. Yo, we closing out on the shooters. Two hands. Two hands. They gonna want to kick it out. We closing out. We ain't giving up no shot. And the main thing, bro, keep them out of the paint. Let's do all of the things that we want to do. The things that we talk about. Let's implement it. We do those things, fellas. We victorious at the end. It's a baby boy! Defense! Defense! Play! Play! Stop it, don't miss! Bloody boys! Yeah! Let's go, no, no, no! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! We playing defense, we aggressive. Physical, keep it out of the paint. Gang rebound. Stay together. Come on, y'all, let's go. Y'all clap it up. Defense! Defense! Take it there!
Show so long. <laughs> Right now, we're winning the game on the defensive end. That's why the score looked like that. We can score with anybody, it's the defensive end. We gotta defend and rebound. Oh, this is a fast paced game. I feel like they have a great team and they all understand each other and understand where to be. Listen, what killed us is nothing short of the turnovers. We cannot lose our way like that. And then, just because it's a run, what did I tell y'all? No matter what, we've been through everything mentally. No matter what, we going what? Win. Y'all saying it, but do you believe it? In Atlanta, we came back from 17 down. They're gonna have to completely reverse and change up their game plan if they even have a chance to keep up with RWE. We done been through everything mentally possible. Push through. Ride out for me like I ride for you. That's all I'm asking. Come on. Yo, bro, no, you gotta stay in front between you and the basket. You and the UE, you understand where you moving to? Time out. Cut the ball out. If I hear some negative, shit, I promise you. Everybody got me. I think as a team, we just got caught up in the moment. You know, we started, we started making careless turnovers. We started missing assignments of defense. We just, we just lost track of what we was really there to do. It was a bad loss for us, you know. It was our first time playing against one of like, the top teams in the league. You know, we, we came up short. We are great. So we need to be together 75% of the game, not even 100. Right now, we at 40%. We got to keep getting better. Or the, the, the basketball, they're going to teach us this lesson every time. If go wrong, we dissipate every time, so That is our issue. If we keep it together, we are more mentally tough. But dudes, wait till we break. <laughs>